Hi, welcome to our channel. My name is Martina. I am an MS Office trainer and today I'm going to tell you a little bit more about XML. XML opens a world of possibilities for automated document construction settings. By editing XML, we can change things that are not editable in PowerPoint itself. So today I will show you how to get to the inside of PowerPoint. PPTX files use a combination of XML and zip to compress its content. So it can contain formatted text, objects, multiple slides, images, videos, and more. In few words, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint files are actually simple zip files with a different file ending. Today I'm going to use 7-zip to unpackage the file, but you can use any other one. However, the main tool we are going to need is a text editor. I will be using Visual Studio Code with special extension. The program is free, so if you want you can download it and the link is below. Let's do that together as some steps are important during installing process. Download the file and begin the installation. Click Next and next and next. This step is important. Under group other, make sure that the first box is selected. That will let us open the file directly in VSC with a simple right click. Next, install and wait for it. Done. Let's close this window and automatically the Visual Studio Code should open up. I'll just close this and let's install the extension. Click on this icon and type XML tools. The first option that will pop up is the correct one and click install. It will help us format text in XML. Great. Now let's close it because sometimes it needs to be restarted. Time to try it out. I have one PowerPoint file that we will unzip, but before starting anything, always create a copy of the file, just in case we will make any mistake while playing with XML. Select the file and just easily copy paste the file. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Now right click on the file and select 7-zip and extract to and that should be the name of your file. Let's open it up and here in the doc props folder we have some basic properties of the document. Let's open it in our code, right click and select it. Now we are going to use our extension, right click and select format document or just press Alt, Shift and F. We will get much easier layout to work with. Here we can see a lot of information about the file. For example, how many slides are in the file, how many hidden slides we have, what template was used to create this document and in which application and which version it was made. And of course, much more. Let's see another file. In PPT folder, open media folder. Here you can find all photos, videos, enhanced files and other objects you have in the file. That's a great way to gain an access to all graphics with just one click. You can also easily see which graphics are huge and potentially increases the file size. Let's go back and see what's in other folders. Here you can see we have some notes, layouts, masters, coded version of slides, and you can also find some embedded files like fonts and the one that we're going to use today themes just remember that removing any file from those folders will destroy the whole structure of the file so now let me demonstrate how we can modify and update our files i will show you how to modify the color in the theme in xml this time i will show you faster way Right click on the file and select open archive. New window open up and this is the inside of the zipped file. However, we don't want to modify the XML file directly in the folder to not mess it up. Go back to PPT folder, then theme. And here you will see we have three files. Theme one is responsible for slide master theme. Theme two for notes theme and theme three handout. Please select theme 1, then press Extract and OK. The file is now visible in the folder where our file is located. Right click on it and select Open with Code. Right click on the code and select Format Document or press Alt, Shift and F. At the beginning of the code we have information about theme colors. I will modify the accent too that is responsible for some shape color in my file. I will change the value of that color. 
The value is in HEX, so probably you would need some additional software to convert it from RGB. Select those numbers under Accent 2 and start typing 4B47A0. Then press Ctrl S to save the file and now we can minimize the window. Right click on the file, select 7-zip and open archive. Then go to PPT file themes and we will drag and drop the file from the folder to zipped window. Then press yes. Close the window and let's test it out. I will open the PowerPoint file that I modified XML off and as you can see, the color of the shape in the background is blue and my previous file had this mint color in the background. You see all those objects change the color to the new one that we just changed in XML. I will show you what happened here in the palette. See accent 2 is that color and my previous old file is the mint one. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any comment, leave it below. And if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe.